tool center point management is basically the ability of the control to constantly monitor and account for the distance the workpiece is from the center line of rotation in a five axis machine. The center line of rotation is this the one point in space that the two rotary axes on any five axis machine rotate around. They're depicted in the image here by the red lines. And where they cross is the center line of rotation for that particular machine. You can imagine if I were to place a workpiece on top of the machine table that that part is going to lie some distance in X, Y, and Z away from that center line of rotation. In the days prior to tool center point management being available to a programmer, that correlation of and distance from center line of rotation to part zero had to be accounted for, whether it be in the post, whether it be in the setup of the CAM system prior to posting the program into G-code, but somehow we had to manage that distance. If you were to set up a part, post your program, run the program, and find that you needed to make an adjustment of, of some distance to bring that part into spe to print specifications, you would have to first go back to the CAM system, physically move that part in CAM space, repost the program, and then send that program back to the machine. What tool center point management does is allows us to program everything from workpiece coordinates. That is the corner of the part that you want to call zero. Once the tool center point management has been turned on, either automatically in conversational programming or via an M code in NC or G code programming, that correlation or that distance is constantly maintained. What that means is if I have to make that same small adjustment in my part setup for bringing that part into specifications on the print, I simply have to make an adjustment of my G54 work coordinate, for example. Make a couple thousandths adjustment in the X or the Y, go ahead and rerun the program. No more do I have to go back to the CAM system and reposition things. Second of all, it makes the program and part setup independent of each other. It also makes the machine dependency for that particular program unnecessary. And what I mean by that is if I had posted that program without tool center point management and then I moved that program and workpiece setup from one machine to another, I had to then go through the whole setup process of making sure that that distance correlation from center line of rotation to workpiece coordinate was, was accounted for, post the program, and so on. So now I can take that same workpiece program, the same part, the same fixture, move it to any machine in my shop, and all I have to do is find the corner of the part. This also, of course, proves to make a much less complex post processor because we're doing something very similar to what we do in three axis, and that is to just program from the corner of the part, and we don't have to account for all of this distance um, from center line of rotation. That is all taken care of by the machine.